Hello guys, today we have the um, the pressure valve from the TDI pump, pressure valve or release pressure valve, whatever. Um, this valve right here, um, it goes on top of your, um, on, on your TDI head, like on the pump, it goes on top right besides where you adjust the uh, injection quantity by hammer. This is the old school type uh, valve. You guys can see on the bottom it's different than the Mark three. It's a little, the only different I see right now, it's like they did not cut this line right here. This is, um, I don't know, the same, about the same. Same threads, same uh, everything besides this little notch in here is different. Mark 4 and Mark 3 are the same. Mark 2 doesn't have that notch. I could be wrong. Maybe this is mismatched from some another pump. It's got the same number, 37. And I noticed that this came out of... Uh, turbo pump so more four it's got the same 37 number that's a good one that that is how the the ins the inside parts the internal should be should looks like like exactly like that same as this see not sticking out this is something about happen I found it like that in the pump and it, it was just by checking. I was like, I need to check this valve, see how it looks like. And there it goes. It was just a little bit more um, time to like, you know, this to happen. And this right here, it's when it happens. And I had pulled this parts out of the, the pump with a magnet. I had done it because this, clip it release like this one from here boom it, it pops out now all these parts will be uh hanging inside the the pump this hole inside the pump so um that's when you start seeing like the um what's it called like the injection quantity out of uh, Richmond or something is way too much flow or whatever glow plug light blinking so this could be the problem here it's already to start uh, allowing fluid passing more faster than this this is close this is close but this is is a little bit slightly slightly open on the back so this is allowing the f the fuel to pass right through more more uh faster so it's releasing the pressure faster so you're losing some uh, when when that uh clip or washer whatever uh, that clip release boom it comes out the pump will be flowing way more fuel way more like it will be pumping way more fuel like and why this happened this thing right here happens it starts like this and then like this and final like this and why it happen it happens because we rev it up 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 too high ram, ram, all the time don't mind my end my ends <laughs> but yeah it's if if you rev it up this uh the the engine too high a lot of fuel it, it's got to pass uh makes her way back to the tank so it will push this um, clip out eventually, a little bit, little eventually, and pops out. So that's how this happened, like revving it up way too high. And that's why um, this pops out, and then this happens. And then after this, you get a uh, uh, check engine light or um, glow plug light saying the, the uh, fuel flow out of limit or reach out of limit or too much flow whatever and you're gonna be burning way too much fuel 
by the time you find out this is the problem. So um, today I was just um, trying to show you guys. Um, this is so simple. You only have to push it back. That's it. Like you, you need to push it all the way back. Simple, simple as that. It's just like you just need to um, get the get the uh, valve out with a ten millimeter uh, wrench. I, I I got them out with a ten millimeters wrench, so it wasn't that hard. But uh, if you cannot get it, um, you you can do it like this. Look, this is a ten millimeter wrench. And if you can find your way there or like this and you twist it like this, you you will be able to pull this thing out. Um, in order to like push that clip all the way back, you can just use suppliers like me and tie them up. There you go. So now you got a... A reset valve right here ready to rock and roll I got all this one from other pumps that I have but I'm gonna show you right now how you can do it um, okay I'm in your car I'm in front of the car already and um, here's your pump so if you guys take a look at it this three bolts there's one down there there's a uh, kind of like you know, like a different shape than the regular ones. That's where the valves is located. And um, you can just put your wrench like right here. Wrench, 10 millimeter wrench. If it's like this, it's, it's way easier than um, if it's like in this position. This position will be hard. So you're gonna have to put the wrench like on top like this and twist it with a pliers or something up here. So in this case, um, since it's in this position, I'm just gonna grab the wrench and there you go. See, now you can blow air in there so that way um, uh, dirt or anything falls inside. You can still blow a little bit more. So before removing this, completely make sure I, I brought this ones you you guys if you don't have a uh, clamps like this I'm gonna show you clamps like this ones you can um, I can clamp this right here like that snap on sells this um, clamp it where the where the feeding line it's um, you, you can use this, but if you don't have that, you can just do this type of clamps, you know? See? So you can adjust it like this and just, you know, do it like this. There you go. This will be quick, so it doesn't have to be, you know, for a long time, but you can use this type of pliers. And now you can remove this we do this so that the pump doesn't suck any air and uh, this uh, fuel system remains uh, you know um, remains uh, what's it called um, with fuel not with air so let's check this one out and look it was about to happen this thing was about to explode and after this this car will have a lot of problem this is because um, people rev it up too much. Look at inside there. So we're gonna go ahead, hurry up and do this real quick. I'm just gonna put them right here and I'm gonna grab my pliers. And like I, like I did before, we are just gonna press this in so that way it doesn't burn more fuel than what it needs to be because right now the pressure is, is releasing from here. So let's go back and put them in the hole. Okay. And this is gonna be a nice, um, 
maintenance or tip or whatever you guys want to many of you i know you guys uh already know about this valve but many folks that we got new they don't know about this valve and if this valve pops they will be like what's going on why am i why my bcds that says this and i change this i change that and that was the whole the, and the entire time that was the problem you know so now after you done that that's it release the pliers and that's it we can uh we can start it up see if um see if um sucks any air we can check it out that real quick this car is a customer customer car so i'm i'm doing this for the video but i do have to um i work on this car so let's see how much air it sucks a lot of air <laughs> nothing we're gonna work on the abs um abs um sensors on the tire we're gonna tune this car we're gonna put injectors i already show you guys um yeah let me show you this right now i already show you guys that this car was the one with um oil oil on the cooling we already cleaned that check it out that's clean now but this was the car with the oil and the transmission or the what i did i just bypassed the, the oil cooler like this so it doesn't mix the oil with the uh, cooling so right now it's just like this so it's not the transmission oh, because this part right here is the back one so there you go now uh, i cleaned the system no more um, oil on the coolant and everything is, is fine So there it is guys, that's a tip for you guys and stay tuned because um, we're still making uh, more stuff to this car.